Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit today that talk about your enemies that will come against you in Jesus' mighty name. Right? And you're going to have a lot of them, man. You're going to have gang stalkers, modern spirits, you know, the antichrist spirit. The spirits of the night that come against you, you know, nightmares, people casting spells, voodoo, all these things. All these things is true. It's true. It's very much true. So you got to take heed to these signs. You got to know when you are receiving an attack from the enemy. You got to know when an enemy is trying to confuse you and throw the fiery darts of the wicked at you. You gotta know these signs. Like, if you know you've been feeling good today, and you've been having a good day today, but out of, out of nowhere now you're feeling depressed, or you're feeling sad, or you're feeling irritated or angry, and it just happened randomly, it's because you are being attacked. Someone is attacking you, you know, in the spiritual realm. Either a witch, a warlock, a people throwing word curses on you. You know, all this stuff is real, man. So you gotta always stay prayed up, always having the armor of God on, you know, being immersed in this word. God says, God says, seek his face continually. Seek his face continually. And you gonna notice the times when you are prayed up, you're reading your word throughout the day, like things just gonna be brushing off you, man. Like they just, they just brushing off you. They're brushing off you. Like you're not even getting tri tripped up by certain things. People, they can't get to you. If they can't get you to sin personally against yourself, they're going to try to throw all these stumbling blocks at you. That's the, the goal of the enemy. That's the goal of Satan and his minions. To throw all these stumbling blocks upon you. Like I was saying, they're going to try to intimidate, confuse, initiate things out the blue. Like anybody initiating things just to cause an offense to you. Like you got to know that it's spiritual. Always think spiritually minded. You know, I know how you can get so immersed in your feelings, you know, off off the jump. But just know it's spiritual and know that God is with you. We don't fight with power or by might, but by his spirit, the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. And once you realize those things, like, it don't even matter. It don't matter. It's really pointless. Don't answer a fool to his folly, right? Because if someone's trying to bring you low, you know what I'm saying? You are already above them in the spirit, of course. So don't take it personal. Just know the enemy is working through people who are not walking the same walk as you. God has called you. God has chosen you. That is a blessing. And he has an assignment for you to complete in this life that we live. For you to start a ministry, to get out here and start street preaching, for you to start leading people out of the dark and into the light. And God sees all you do. And he's going to give you, he already gave you the tools that you need to do the work. You just have to start being confident and in God and in yourself to go out here and do the work, right? God says, this is in Proverbs, you know, if you faint in the day of adversity, then you lack strength. So you gotta increase your strength. And you know, you know our weapons are not carnal, but they're spiritual. So our strength is the word of God, fasting, prayer. And you shouldn't be ashamed to pray anywhere. You know, a real man prays in public, like a real man prays in public. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But of course, if you want powerful prayers, hide yourself, you know what I'm saying? If you got that, a space where you can pray in the midst of your own comfort, of course, always do that. And just stay immersed in the word of God. You know, don't worry about what the enemy doing. You know, that's why God says, just keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I promise you, you're going to see the fruits of your labor. You're going to see the Holy Spirit operating in your life. And I just pray this word bless you. Just know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Claim it, receive it, and walk through it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Like, comment, and subscribe.
Peace and blessings.